what's going on guys welcome back to the stay weird in youtube channel today's episode of the daily drop is recapping the inuit versus donair fight that just occurred a few hours ago before we actually get into the video i do want to let you guys know if you are enjoying the content you know what to do drop us a like share drop us a comment on this particular day and our other videos as well jump in the conversation as well and also more importantly subscribe and hit the notification but that notification is important because when a video goes live you're the first one to know about it the first one to watch it and the first one to get into the conversation with that being said let's go ahead and recap today's fight so uh anyway one of the pound for pound best uh on the rankings possibly not the one out of all that's marketed the best being that and majority of his fights are in Japan, and maybe Top Rank do struggle to promote that. That being said, this particular fight had the hype behind it, especially because of the first fight. And what a performance. I think Twitter itself kind of lit up seeing the reaction as to the dominance finishing the fight in the second round. And, and this could potentially have been finished in the first round as well, because in the first round, there was a knockdown. And because there was about three seconds left at the end of the first round, I would say Donair got, quote, unquote, saved by the bell, even though officially it wasn't. If there was a few more, I would say another 30 seconds, we could have seen this fight end in the second. But the second round just showed off who anyway really is and why he is one of the pound-for-pound -pound best. Coming in, finishing the fight with about a minute 20 into the second round, getting the job done. And for me... It showed why he is one of, like I said, one of the best pound for pound fighters. But now we move on to what's next for him. For Donair, officially, I would say look to the idea of retirement. He is a legend in the sport of boxing. So obviously, it's down to him to decide that. But I think a lot of people will look at it to say it's time for retirement. However, for any way, the sky's the limit, as they like to say. There's a potential. For undisputed to occur because uh, Paul Butler does have the WBO belt. And just looking at the post fight reaction, it looks like that seems to be the way to go for him. And again, we've talked about this year being the year of undisputed. We could definitely pencil in another one of them fights just, just to slot that in towards the end of the year or something. And again, you could be looking at somebody again, like I said, it could be number one, number two on the pound for pound ranking. And I feel like that's one way to go. The second way is what was alluded to in the post-fight uh, interview, and that was looking to move up. Looking to move up, you've got a certain Stephen Fulton that could be um, a person to fight. We've talked about how he might require some marquee fights. This would 100% be a marquee fight. Now, for this to occur, again, there's the politics of boxing that needs to happen. But I will say this. This display here, for me, now I'm looking at Top Rank and I'm looking at you to, again, it was free on YouTube. So what Top Rank did was smart. Um, they allowed a lot of viewers to watch this fight without having necessarily other means to find it. So it was available for everybody to watch. Again, I'm not sure why. I'm not a fan of the days that he fights. We all know traditionally Saturday is possibly the boxing days. Arguably, you could say Sunday as well. So I'd probably look at that. I'd probably look at marketing him in a different way where a lot more people can be interested, especially if we get this undisputed fight as well. So I guess that's another thing I'm thinking of. If we get an undisputed fight, we need this to be pushed properly. But I do want to know you guys' opinions on this particular fight as well. How impressed were you? And what what do you think is the future now for anyway? Well, should he go for Indisputed? Should he look to move up? But uh, as always, if you are enjoying the content, you know what to do. Drop us a quick like on this video as well. As we said, drop us a comment as well. Get involved in the conversation. Drop the hashtag, stay weird in. Hit the notification bell. Very important you do that because like I said, first come, first serve. As they like to say, we can get involved with the conversation with you as well. And as always, guys, follow us on the socials. It is stay weird in. And as always, love and peace.